Hi guys, Yulis here and it's day three. And today we'll start working a little bit harder, so it will be more intense. Still very suitable for beginners, he doesn't want to stay with me. So we're coming to a tabletop, all fourth position. So you spread your fingers wide, you place your um, hands on the floor right underneath your shoulders and imagine that you're clawing down with your hands so you really press with your fingertips you really press with the knuckles down then your knees underneath your hips tuck your toes under and we start with a couple of rounds of simple cat and cow just to bring some loose some ease into the spine good inhale lift your tailbone up drop your belly open your chest and look up Exhale, chin in, then lift your upper back, middle back, lower back, and then tuck your tailbone under, hold up your belly and drop your head. Inhale, we keep moving like this, opening the front part of your chest, of your torso, of your chest, of your spine, look up, keep your shoulders to the back. Exhale, chin in, and then slowly articulate each vertebra and round your spine, bring it up and back. Take, tuck your tailbone under and one more time inhale to the front oh it feels good right exhale to the back round your spine hold up your belly imagine that you're creating vacuum there opening through the back side of your chest through the back side of your spine and torso good and the next inhale come back to the center Bring your knees slightly towards the center, especially we we'll start with the left, so left knee. Good. Right hand stays on the floor. You can bring it slightly to the front. You will see that it will give you a little bit more stability. Keep your left toes tucked under. Extend your right leg to the back. I'm flexing the foot and look, my toes pointing directly down. I'm not opening it to the side. I keep it down. So my pelvis is neutral here. Try not to lift it too much. Don't keep it down. So right heel in line with the hip. If you feel pretty steady here, maybe you will try and bring your left arm to the front. From here, start lengthening through your right heel, through your crown of your head and through your left fingertips, feeling the stretch even more. Good. Then slowly raise your left hand, right knee. This time right knee goes slightly closer to the center. It will give you more stability. And right hand slightly to the front. Good. From here, extend your left leg. Flex the foot. Point your toes down. Your left knee pointing down. You can even look down and check if your leg is in the correct position. Press with your heel away. And maybe you will be able to bring your right arm to the front. So you're kind of lengthening through the uh, crown. You're lengthening it through the fingertips. And you're lengthening through your left heel. Good. Then release your right hand down. Release your left knee down. From here, we're still working in the cat and cow. I simply want you to bring your hips towards your right and look over your right shoulder. So you're shortening your right side body and lengthening your left. And then inhale here, exhale, hips towards your left, look over your left shoulder. And we work like here, inhale in the center, exhale, bringing your hips towards your right and look over your right shoulder. And then inhale center, exhale towards your left. Couple more to each side. It's a nice um, way to open the sides of your body. So straighten your, stretch your neck, but be, be, be really careful. Don't push too much so your neck stays neutral, relaxed. Good. From here, we're coming to downward facing dog. So one of the ways to check the distance, because for the beginners it's always a little bit tricky, come to a child's pose for a moment, bring your big toes touching, open your knees slightly wider than your hips, and really straighten your hands forward. Don't let your elbows come down onto the floor, keep them active, keep them off the floor. 
release your forehead down. From here, start pressing with your hands down, with the fingers tip down, tips down. Come to a tabletop without changing position of your hands or your feet. Tuck your toes under. Bend your knees and start sending your hips up and back. And from here, you can feel that you are in the right position. So your hands and your feet have the right distance in between themselves. You can keep your knees bent. Feel that you're stretching with your hips up and back even more. More, but your hands are active. You're not collapsing. You're lifting your armpits, the outer armpits, up towards the sky. Broadening your shoulders. Good. Start paddling your feet here. One heel at a time. Feeling the stretch to your hamstrings. Good. On the next inhale, release your heels down and look up. Exhale, bend your knees. And then start walking your feet towards your hands. Keep your feet parallel, keep them hip distance apart. Let me face the camera so you can see what I want you to do. So we're coming to Ardha Uttanasana, feet parallel, hip uh, your feet hip distance apart. Inhale, you lengthen. And I'm using this block here. Uh, maybe you need to use it too, especially if you round your spine too much. In Ardha Uttanasana, in half forward fold, we want to have our spine neutral. Exhale, fold and bow. From here, maybe you need to lower that block. I want you to start bending your right knee and lowering your right hip. You see what I'm doing? My right hip is much lower than my left. And when you do that, you feel the stretch to the outer um, thigh, to the outer shin of your left leg. Release your neck, release your head. Stay here. And then we change. So bring your uh, right leg straight, right knee straight, and then bend your left knee more. So your hip goes down, down. Feel the stretch. Try not to move your hips too much towards your left. Keep them in the middle, but bend your knee. Release your neck, release your head. Inhale, come back up. Well done. Remove the block from here, from your Uttanasana. Inhale, come halfway up. Maybe you place your hands on the shins, maybe on the knees. Good. And then on the next inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms overhead. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Release your arms down, Tadasana. And we start working from here. From, from your standing position, step your left foot back, make a big step, and then release your left knee down. If your knee is complaining and then super sensitive, you can always double up your mat and place that knee on that cushion so it will be easier. From here, I want you to bring your right foot slightly towards your right. If you stay here like this, this is very bad for the knee. I want you to bring your foot forward. So 90 degrees or more than 90 degrees is okay. Less than 90? No. Good. Keep rolling your outer hip down so you're kind of lowering that hip down. Good. From here, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I want you to twist. But imagine that you're still lengthening into the crown of your head. Place your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, press your right hand on top. From here, start pressing with your right hand down, rolling your right shoulder more towards the back. This is my cat, sorry. He's, I don't know, asking for something probably. Good. Feel the twist happening from the navel up. Good. Then slowly untwist. Now release your hands onto the floor. Maybe you use the blocks here. Start straightening your front right leg. Flex the foot and start plugging that leg into the hip socket. You see my mat is really rippling here. 
that's what we want to achieve here by plugging i'm sending my right hip back inhale lengthen exhale fold over your right leg and again if you feel like you're coming down with the rounded spine come up a little bit find that neutral spine and work from there inhale lengthen exhale fold keep your neck long Well done. One more inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. On the next inhale, come to the front. Place your hands from your front right foot. Left your left knee. Step your right foot back. Downward facing dog. From here again, start paddling your feet. One heel at a time. Sending your hips up and back. Strong arms, strong hands. Let's start and try the opposite side from the downward facing dog. It's a little bit trickier, but we'll see what we can do, right? Be open to a challenge. On the next inhale from your left inner thigh, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee towards your chest, round your spine. From here, feel the activation of your core. Start bringing your shoulders over your wrists. And then step your left foot by your left thumb. If it's not enough, then have a hold of your left ankle and bring it forward. And again, release your right knee down. If you need to double up your mat, go ahead. Back it up a little bit, your right knee, and then slide it forward. So you're not standing on the kneecap. You're just on the beginning of the insertion of the front part of your thigh bone inhale come up check the angle press with your left uh, heel down both hands on your left knee check that you're closing your ribs here you're not opening them and your shoulders right over your pelvis good from here hands to the front inhale lengthen exhale twist towards your left right elbow goes to the outside of your left knee Start pressing with your left. Sometimes I just help to have a good grip by placing it first and then placing my left hand on top. Press with your left hand onto your right. From there, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Keep rolling your left shoulder to the back and feel that stretch from your right low ribs all the way to your left outer shoulder. Good. On the next inhale come up then again hands on the floor hands on the blocks start straightening your left leg keep your pelvis high don't lower it too much not sit um, too much and bring your hips closer your towards your right heel flex the foot plug it in like imagine that you're trying to ripple up your mat inhale here lengthen exhale you just folding in between your legs, keeping your leg, uh, neck long. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. You can try to move your sternum forward, lengthening it through the crown of your head. Try not to round too much. If you do that and you notice that, just come up slightly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. On the next inhale, walk forward. Place your hands. Step your left foot back. Downward facing dog again. Paddle your feet. Press with your hands. Look, uh, have a look at your hands. Spread your fingers wide. Press down and forward. And from there, move your pelvis away from you. Start paddling your feet. Good. On the next inhale, first release your heels down. Lift your left, right leg up. Keep the pelvis neutral. So imagine that you're lifting your leg from the inside. Exhale, bend your knee. Bring it into the chest. Start bringing your shoulders over your wrist. And then your right knee goes to the outside of your right wrist. Shin onto the floor. Point the foot. From here, start backing up your left 
Leg, keep your knee in the air, keep your left knee in the air, keep your left toes tucked under, right foot pointed. Good. From here, release your forearms onto the floor. Start gently bringing your pubic bone up towards your sternum, feeling the activation of the lower core muscles. And when you do that, you feel that your sternum, I'm sorry, that your lower back is nice and spacious and long. From here, keep that action in place and release your left knee onto the floor, untuck your left toes, and maybe just stay here for a couple of moments. Trying to relax your belly down towards the floor, but keep the action of your um, pubic bone in place by activating the lower core muscles. Nice. One more breath. Then slowly come out. Go tuck your left toes under, lift your hips up and back and step your right foot back. Just paddle the foot. Sometimes we left the leg, lift the leg to three-legged dog, but I don't think it's the time yet. So just maybe Shift your pelvis from side to side. Just find that ease in your right hip, in your right thigh. Good. And we're ready for the second side. On the next inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee towards your chest, round your spine. And then shoulders over your wrists and right left knee. This time your left knee to the outside of your left uh, wrist. Um, your shin is slightly angled, point the foot. From there, start backing up your right leg. Keep your right knee in the air, toes tucked under. Slowly release your forearms onto the floor. And the same action. First, I want you to start lowering your right hip down and broaden your hips towards your right and towards your right, uh, left. So your pelvis is neutral and open here. So it's like wide here. From here, when you feel that openness, start curling your tailbone under, or I would better say pubic up towards your sternum. Feel the activation of the lower core muscles. From there, release your right knee, right toes. Good. Stay here. Maybe you and try and lower a little bit more. It's depending on how you feel today, how flexible you are. Never rush, always wait. It's one of those poses when we need to stay relaxed. We need to breathe into the left hip right now and just wait. When the body tells us, I'm ready to go a little bit deeper. Good, one more breath. On the next inhale, come out. Then just sink your hips and shift them towards your left and swing both legs to the front. Bring the soles of your feet together, open your knees to the sides and bring your feet quite close to your groins. To your groin. Interlace your fingers underneath. Start lengthening in through the crown of your head. So maybe I can sit like this so you can see what I'm doing here better. Good. From here, I want you to start opening your knees to the sides. So like flapping the wings of butterfly. But I really prefer you to do it slow rather than quick. So just feel the stretch. Feel the openness, the opening. Good. Then keep them down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, this time, bend your elbows. If you can, place them to the insides of your shins, maybe onto the floor. Lengthen to the crown of your head. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your sternum forward. So you feel that you're not crunching your neck. You're not dropping your head. You keep your neck long. Good, one more inhale here. Exhale, fold over. Nice. On the next inhale, come out. We'll do one more pose. Extend your legs. Probably I will have to sit like this. And uh, extend your legs. Move the flesh from underneath. 
keep pressing with your sitting bones to the back. Let's see, if you're sitting like this, maybe if you have a blanket somewhere close by, you can sit on the blanket, or you just simply press your hands to the sides quite close to your hips, almost, you see, in line with the hips. Press with your fingertips down and start lengthening the crown of your head. Good. By doing that, you're kind of initiating this forward inclination of the pelvis. Keep your lower ribs closed, lengthen the crown of your head. And maybe this is enough for you for today. Maybe you don't want to go any deeper. If you have enough of a stretch, never rush. If you are able to bring your hands to the front, maybe slightly different, without changing the position of your torso, go ahead. And maybe you can slide start walking your hands forward maybe you just stay here again ribs in spacious shoulders move them slightly away from your ears active legs let's stay here for a couple more breaths maybe you can come a little bit forward never rush. Sometimes we use a belt, but let's stay here today. Good, and the next inhale, come out. Then bend your knees, place your feet onto the floor and lay down. Good. Keep both knees bent, open your arms to the sides, shift your pelvis towards your left and bring both knees towards your right. Look over your left shoulder. Keep your left shoulder on the floor. If it feels right for you, you can place your right foot on top of your left knee. And if you do that, move that knee away from you instead of pushing down. Move that knee away from your hip, feeling the stretch um, to your outer left thigh, to your IT band there. Hold then release your right foot down, bring both knees up. Then shift your pelvis towards your right a little bit. And then both knees towards your left. Look over your right shoulder, keep your right shoulder on the floor. If it feels right, left foot goes on top of your right knee. Move the knee away from you, feeling the stretch to the right IT band. Stay here for a moment. And then slowly come up. Good. Both knees up. Face your head up. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers on top. Give yourself a nice hug, nice massage. Good. And when you're ready, maybe just for a couple of breaths. Maybe if you have time, you can stop the video and stay for all full length Shavasana. Just make sure that your shoulders are flat at the back of your rib cage, that your arms slightly away from the body. I normally ask my students to bring my their feet as wide as their mat and drop their toes to the sides. When you do that, you can even wiggle from side to side to make sure that there is no tension in your legs, in your hips, in your belly, in your pelvic floor. And just stay there. Relax, feel your breath. And when it's time, just let go. Good, we can more than welcome to stay longer. But for the sake of keeping the video short, we start coming out of Shivasana. Fingers, moving your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists, then arms overhead. Give yourself a nice stretch. Roll onto the right side of your, floor, of your body and come up. Good. And again, you can sit on the block. One moment. Come to a nice and comfortable cross-legged position. Hands on the knees, lengthen to the ground, bring your shoulders over your laps, over your I'm sorry, shoulders over your hips. 
and stay here. Gently tuck your chin in and feel that the back side of your uh, head is actually pushing back towards the back and the crown is lengthening up. And bring your hands together. Namaste. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day. Hope you feel energized. So I hope that you're already committed and you're looking forward for day four, which will be right here for you tomorrow. So take care of yourself. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.